the chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Jackson Lee, for five minutes. I thank the chair and I ask unanimous consent to address the House for five Without minutes. Without objection. Madam Chair, I rise with a very heavy heart uh, and an overwhelming uh, sense of sadness, anguish, and anger. That should, however, be utilized to save lives. I traveled with the Organization of Security and Cooperation in Europe with my colleagues, Congressman Cohen, Hudson, Wilson, Adderholt, Vesey. We started out, uh, most of us, on Sunday with the intent to go into the Ukraine region as we did and with all optimism that this war would not be, that we could engage in discussions with parliamentarians and heads of state, and that Putin would listen to reason of the 21st century. Upon arriving, we unfortunately heard the distorted, uh, confused, uh, and absolutely rejected message of the Soviet Union and how the history suggests that countries like Ukraine were not independent, they were simply part of the old Soviet Union. Madam Speaker, you are aware of the fact that generations now living in democratic countries like Lithuania have no knowledge of the old Soviet Union. Congratulations to leaders like Gorbachev and Yeltsin who believed that their duty was to bring Russia into the 21st century. We remember the words of Ronald Reagan, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. How in the world can Putin now come to represent that he, riding in on a fancy horse, maybe even shirtless, is going to now dominate, violently, bring these countries to their knees and for them to reject what they've come to love, and that is democracy. But we continued in discussions. The Lithuanian Prime Minister, the Lithuanian President, the Lithuanian Foreign Minister, and many others, that country, right in the eye of the storm, right in the potential of being one of those victims, yet Lithuania is a member of NATO, protected by Article 5, but we thought because of their fears and their concern, because of their uh, sensitivity of the reckless and uncontrolled posture of Putin, who knows where he would go? Estonia, Laktava, Moldova, countries that are standing separately. He has already, as we were fully briefed, had dominated and taken over. It doesn't exist, and I want the president of Belarus to understand that. I hope that he could stand up, but there were already 30 to 40,000 Russian troops in his country bordering on Lithuania. And even with that, we wanted to, as we've heard, give peace a chance, continue to press for peace, even to the point where we went uh, to uh, the meeting where Finland and Sweden and France and Great Britain and Russia, Ukraine, were all there. We went to sit down at the peace table to try and argue. We arrived on Wednesday, and as everyone knows, in the late hours, early morning, from Wednesday to Thursday, Putin designed his own war. No vote by the Russian people. He designed a purposeless, senseless, and immoral war. And I began to articulate how we should move quickly. Financial sanctions that should immediately bring them to their knees. Uh, the SWIFT account being denied way on Saturday, Friday and Saturday, I asked for that. But I think the real issue is they should be brought to their knees. And then last Saturday I said he should be charged as a war criminal. I am glad that the criminal court, World Criminal Court The Hague is now opening an investigation on this despot, this terrorizer, this killer. We cannot tolerate this kind of behavior. He indicated to the world that this was an operational war. I'm going to be selective 
I'm not going after civilians. Madam Speaker, to the nation, to the world, this is a face of a destroyed building. Reminiscent of World War II, when civilian places were bombed, when thousands were lost, there is a person standing here and that of dead children. Mr. Putin, you are a killer, a terrorist, and these are terrorists that are in Ukraine. We ask the world to continue to stand united, NATO and others, to be able to bring Putin to his knees financially and economically and as well on the world stage. He should be tried as a criminal. We need this war to end in a ceasefire. Madam Speaker, President Zelensky said we are here and we stand with him. Ukraine is here. Glory to Ukraine. I yield back.